Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister for Primary Industries. Does he believe New Zealand's biosecurity preparations, including Biosecurity NZ, are sufficiently and adequately resourced to protect New Zealand from biosecurity risks? Honourable Speaker, yes. As the member will know, risk can never be eliminated from any system. That is why the government has a comprehensive approach to biosecurity at pre-border, at the border and post-border. An example of this system in action is the detection of two Queensland male fruit flies caught in biosecurity traps this year, one last week and one in January earlier this year. This is a sign of the system working as it should, and I would like to acknowledge both MPI and the Whangarei community for their efforts with this response. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, given that answer, does he believe that the $1.6 million on the, fruit, on the first fruit fly and potentially the same amount on the second fly just discovered would have been better spent on the biosecurity fence at the top of the cliff rather than the fumble catch ambulance at the bottom of it? Honourable Nathan well, Guy. Mr Speaker, that's a two-part question. It's very important that we do a very thorough response and follow international best practices, which we are doing with this response similar to the previous response. because. Ultimately, we would like to maintain our Queensland fruit fly free status, which is hugely important for the $4 billion horticulture industry in New Zealand. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, is he concerned at the news that the Bioprotection Research Centre at Lincoln University has had its government funding cut? And if so, will he work with his Cabinet colleagues to have that funding reinstated? If not, why not? Honourable Nathan Guy. Well, that's separate from the Ministry for Primary Industries. That's to do with tertiary education. And my understanding is that there's been an independent panel that has assessed that process. For me, biosecurity is my number one priority. That's why funding's increased every year since we took over from the Labor government. And importantly, we're focusing on the front line, putting more frontline quarantine inspectors in and 12 new X-ray machines and new dog detector teams as well. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does he consider the $182 million spent on biosecurity to be sufficient, given that it represents less than three quarters of one per cent of the value of the $25 billion agricultural industry it is supposed to protect, without which three quarters of our economy would not exist? Honourable Nathan Guy. Well, Mr Speaker, funding is very important. That's why it's my number one priority right. as Minister, because right. I've got to focus on the front line because of our primary producing exporters that we rely on in this country. That's why we are increasing our presence in frontline quarantine inspectors, another 125 in the last 18 months, 12 new X-ray machines, five new dog detector teams increasing to around 35, and also now we've got government industry agreements where industry can partner with government on preparedness and response. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Richard Prosser. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does he consider forcing research institutes in this country to seek funding by gaining commercial work on behalf of other governments because they are not funded sufficiently by this government to be a prudent approach to biosecurity risk management? Honourable Nathan well, Guy. Mr Speaker, I've already addressed that question. Supplementary question, Honourable Damien O'Connor. Mr Speaker, uh, do the continuous stream of biosecurity incursions under his watch provide enough evidence of his failure as minister, or what will it take to, prov to prove that cutbacks in staffing and funding have undermined New Zealand's biosecurity reputation and put our whole economy at risk? Oh, Mr. Honourable Nathan Guy. Mr Speaker, I'm sick and tired of the rhetoric from uh, the member opposite. What he, do what, he, what he doesn't acknowledge is all of the incursions that occurred under the Labor government. And if that member wants me to run through them, I will now. Varroa, painted apple moth, Didymo, the list goes on and on and on. I've received a letter from the Honourable Damien O'Connor seeking to debate Understanding Order 386, the potential biosecurity hazard raised by the discovery of a second foreign fruit fly in Pongarei. This is a particular case of recent occurrence involving ministerial responsibility. However, the Ministry's response to the discovery of fruit fly in Whangarei is ongoing. The big hurdle to get out order. 
The big hurdle to get over in an urgent uh, debate application is whether the matter has reached the stage where the business of the House should be set aside. The test is a high one. A further discovery of a fruit fly has been reported and Ministry staff have been deployed to monitor the controlled area. Information available suggests this is a new find unrelated to the incident in January. Some restrictions have been placed on the movement of fruit and vegetables to minimise risk of fruit fly being moved out of the controlled area. While public confidence in New Zealand's biosecurity system is important, I am not convinced that, this, that I would be justified in setting aside the business of the House today on the basis of this particular incident. The application is therefore declined. Point of order, Honourable Damien uh, O'Connor. Mr Speaker, I appreciate your decision. I'd just like to get some guidance. Uh, how many fruit fly incursions order. might order. be needed? To pass the member will resume his seat. The last time he raised this matter, he equally questioned my decision. I invited him then, if he required an explanation as to my decision, to come and see me. I repeat that invitation, but I don't appreciate him challenging my decision today. I call on...